the different approach of New Guineans to assessing risk is perhaps the aspect of living in New Guinea that has most affected my personal life. In one of my early trips to New Guinea, I was with a batch of New Guineans on the mountain, studied birds, we moved up the mountain, I was ready to pick a new campsite, and I found a gorgeous potential campsite in the forest, flat top of a ridge, steep drop off where I could watch parrots and pigeons, underneath a giant tree. So I told the New Guineans, let's pitch camp here. And to my surprise, they refused to pitch camp there, and they said, look, this tree is dead. So I looked up, and yes, this giant tree was dead, but I said, that, that's ridiculous. It's not gonna fall for 40 years, but they were adamant they were not going to sleep under a dead tree. In fact, they slept in the open. I thought that they were being paranoid with exaggerated fears, and then as I spent more time in New Guinea, every night you're in New Guinea, you're sleeping in the forests, you hear a tree fall somewhere, and then you go do the numbers. Suppose the risk of that tree falling on me tonight is one in 1,000. I sleep under dead trees for a thousand nights. In three years, I'm gonna be dead. And the example in Western life for me now is taking a shower. The most dangerous thing I did today was to, to take a shower. And you may say, that's a ridiculous shower. Your chance of falling in the shower is one in a thousand. But again, do the numbers. I'm 76, statistically, I have 15 years ahead of me. That means 5,475 showers ahead of me. If my risk of breaking my leg in the shower is one in 1,000, I'm gonna kill myself five and a half times before I live out my life expectancy. And that brought home the New Guinea attitude is to be sensitive to the risks of events, of things that you're gonna do regularly. Each time they carry a low risk, but if you're not cautious, it will catch up with you.